the councillors all have asked of their chair that he should thank all of our staff, and he thought if he tried for poetical flair, at the least it right, might raise a wry laugh. South Cambridgeshire officers have always been keen. We believe you to be in fine fettle. But in this world crisis of COVID-19, you really have showed us your mettle. So thanking you all is scarcely a chore. I'm proud to be able to do it, though I fear to miss out one of you or yet more. If I do so, I'll certainly rue it. Let's start at the top with the management group. No, that's not the right way to do it. I'll start on the ground with the wondrous waste troop, the truck and the people who crew it. For you and the members of some other teams are out in the public domain. You're seen by the public directly, it seems, for you're out there, come shine or come rain. But most of our folk are now working from home, in living room, diner or kitchen, and whereas that may be delightful for some, for some it's an awful restriction. You've a partner, perhaps, who is under your feet. For children, perhaps, you are caring. You've no desk, you've no space, you've no colleagues to meet. We appreciate this can be wearing. There are many new skills you are having to learn, for you're doing new tasks every day. And I fear that at both ends your candle you'll burn. So please, take some time off for play. Our residents need even more than before to ask for advice or for aid, and the contact frontliners with ever open door now help residents, business and trade. For every part of your labours, perhaps, you've needed our smart ICT, and with Zoom and with Teams and our Anywhere apps, you've provided the magic 3C. With 600 staff, give or take a few score, did I omit you, my good friend? I'm sorry if so, but my skills are quite poor, and behold, I must draw to an end. This rambling poem has had just one aim, to thank you without too much platitude. If I fail in that goal, it is me you must blame. But please, take the Council's deep gratitude. Thank you.